Okay. Hey guys, thank you so much for jumping in. Um, hope everyone is still energized to, to proceed. Uh, I know a lot of us are, are feeling kind of the burnout in, a, in some ways, the frustration about the lack of structure in the process, but we're getting there. I think yesterday was really an inflection point in terms of all of the teams self-organizing, having specific team leaders that are not necessarily principal investigators, just people that push things around and, you know, spark the conversation. I think that's the most important way to, you know, proceed in, in the current environment. I do feel we'll need those, you know, more formalized principal investigators down the line once we actually, you know, reach some of the bigger uh, impact items for each of the tasks. But for right now, it's, it's all about brainstorming, uh, being creative, and just jumping on calls and talking through all of these things. Um, and... I've, I've taken some time away yesterday to uh, focus on external communications. There will be two uh, action items that I will be sending out emails about. Uh, basically, we've uh, posted our uh, website on producthunt.com, uh, which is kind of the place where startups uh, spread their, their products. Not necessarily a product, but I think we, we fit the category of a product in a way because this is a, a product, like all of this is a mm -hmm. unique collaboration and environment that people uh, should be willing to, you know, be interested in. And that's also a way for us to get more product managers and people uh, that, you know, uh, know how to organize stuff. So uh, you can jump into the comment section, answer questions, also introduce yourself and tell people who you are and what you're doing and what's your experience. Uh, was Corona Y. I think that's going to be helpful for us to get more non-technical people. The other thing, I wrote a Medium article, uh, a lot of clickbait, a lot of things to, you know, spread uh, the message, uh, a lot of gifts and stuff like that, but hopefully that resonates with people. And uh, whoever has Medium account or can share an article, please do that. I'll try to send out email to everyone who filled out the team roster. Um, and for the ones who haven't, I'll, I'll post that into announcement channels. All right, so back on track. Um, so we, we are seeing this pattern of, you know, keeping this call as a daily sync, kind of the housekeeping or organizational staff, uh, staff and kind of uh, breaking into uh, individual calls to focus on specific things. Like at, uh, in 23 minutes, we're gonna have the call focused on medical experts and engagement with those communities that is uh, driven by Steven and uh, Natalie, I believe. And I highly encourage you to just start creating these Zoom calls and posting them in your specific task channels to start the discussion. Like it feels like no one is online until you send a Zoom call and 10 people jump in and s somehow something happens. So the first thing to discuss is uh, discuss current blockers and how to make progress within individual tasks. I think um, Daniel and Mark will be the best people to jump in here just because they, they are kind of trying to keep in touch with everything. Uh, yeah, so just go ahead. So definitely it seems like a big piece of one of the blockers is just getting our organizational side uh, figured out. I don't, Mark, do you wanna talk a little bit about the, the channel simplification and hierarchy that you've been kind of putting together? Definitely. So, um, uh, so right now, Daniel, just as a clarification, I'm seeing you a little bit more as like explicit to do's a little bit and make, keeping track of individuals, but I have been trying to jump in on that to the point that you're asking about. So the, yesterday I put out a big call for people to just look at and start working with a Google Doc, um, which is asking for basically a consolidation of channels. Understand that this is not to say that your favorite channel is not a good channel. It's to get people in the same places talking ab about similar topics and we can bifurcate later. But the real issue that's being addressed is, for instance, if you're a leader of a different topic, it's hard to monitor eight different channels and to know which one you should be monitoring. So we need to get it down to like 20 channels tops. Um, the other thing is we might not know your channel exists or that there's heavy activity there. Um, there's some higher level things that I can do to look at that, but um, please make yourself known 
Um, and really the biggest question is, um, is there status updates that are being missed in these calls here? Um, so check out that doc. The other thing is there's a general document called assets. I'll post uh, a link to that. And this document is in it, and we're trying to just find a way to just like make a high level view of everything. So that's the effort. Please, if you have any working document, including a notebook or just like brainstorming ideas, but it's a document, share it with me so that we can get it um, wider, uh, spread wider, because I think that there's a lot of parallel conversations going on. Um, so I'll just stop there on that point. No, that's perfect. And yeah, Tina is, is posting in the chat there. She has a, a great um, sort of a draft of some of the core channels that we need. So as we start to consolidate those, one of the things, a lot of these are team-based channels. You know, they may not be the task teams, but there's, there's definitely a team that's there. Um, if the folks in that channel can figure out who can be, even if it's a temporary point person or maybe it's a coordinator for those channel, uh, the more we know that, the more it can help us get that, that overarching structure in place and help the new people figure out who they should talk to uh, about any, any given thing. Jump in one more point. Um, uh, if you're looking for something to give people to do, a nice thing is to assign somebody as a liaison for your task group and say, and their job is to make sure stuff's updated on that main doc page. It doesn't have to be deleted themselves. But, and then also what we want to know is, are you monitoring three or four other sub channels? Let us know that kind of thing too. So, um, so we just get a full map of, of activity. Yeah, and I think it's been mentioned before, but a couple of things that, that are easy ways for us to kind of, again, organically figure out what's what. Um, in your profile, you can both, you can add your LinkedIn profile um, and use that status, that status line as well. If you're looking for a task, throw that into your status. And that way, any of us who are quickly looking around can figure out, you know, uh, Brandon's really good at this, but he's also doing 28 different things. So why don't we see if we can find somebody else who has, has a, that skill set as well. Um, Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I wonder if we want to, to quickly go into um, if there's, oh, and also name, name, again, putting out your teams, but also putting out the blocks. Um, list the things that are your blockers and also keep on giving the suggestions, every suggestion that's been given so far around what we should be doing organizationally. Um, those help shape how things are. We've got a whole bunch of smart people here um, and we're each looking at a different facet of things. Nobody can keep track of them. And so having, having each person give their insights into how we can be improving uh, is, is exactly how we get there uh, faster. Um, maybe move into, unless, are there any other specific blockers that people want to talk about within their individual tasks? Hello? I think, I think the, the team reports uh, for individual teams would be great just because we're trying to hit the 30 minute mark and I believe some people will be willing to join the medical experts call uh, in 15 minutes. So if we can do the roll call and team reports, that'll be great. Sounds good. All right, so uh, teams to report. We wanna start with the task teams and find out what's going on there. Uh, Hello? Hi. Oh, okay, go ahead, yes. Oh, sorry, I just have a quick question. Hi, my name is Flavia. I just yesterday got to know about the project, so I'm really unfamiliar still with like how everything is working. So from the task that I, the task, sorry, that I'm seeing in the list, um, one thing that I noticed in the website is that you guys are looking for people that works more in marketing communication sort of a strategy. So I'm more interested in that due to my expertise. Um, so I was wondering if that can be included also in the task or is basically visualization part of uh... Yes, definitely. Thanks. We'll talk offline, um, but thanks for making yourself known. Yeah. <laughs> there is marketing Slack channel. You can join that uh, already, but we'll, we'll connect with you. Okay, great. Thanks. Daniel, you, you want to go ahead? Yes. Uh, so Daniel from Task uh, Geo uh, here. So currently um, I have uh, onboarded and distributed a bit tasks to uh, a, a few people. I have a couple of people extracting um, demographics data. So for example, um, localized uh, density of population and so on that uh, can then be used for further analysis. We are also extracting climate data. We're trying to um, build up an automated pipeline to extract regularly this kind of data and update data sets. Uh, it would be great at some point to have a centralized place that's kind of stable where you can, we can dump uh, such data sets in a kind of a regular manner, maybe once a week or something like that. Um, 
and I have a person setting up uh, a SARE model to well, trying to understand the first analysis of the data, let's say. Um, I have a couple of things that I, I think we would need, uh, at least on my side. Um, we really would like to have some guidance for from uh, subject matter experts uh, to help us better define tasks and work in a more focused way and understand if maybe some kind of data is useless or it's too noisy, or maybe we haven't considered some other data that would be more useful. Um, we would certainly need a few more people for data origination and data extraction, just finding data sources and setting up a pipeline to get those data. Uh, as already discussed in the call before, we would need maybe some someone to do uh, kind of communication between groups uh, because we're working. I feel we're kind of kind of in compartments at some point, and uh, becomes difficult to keep track of everything. Uh, certainly, either uh, experts or uh, NLP people to help us find relevant literature for our task. Uh, if we onboard more people, then of course we need some more project management and uh, as I already mentioned before, a central repository for the data that we extract. Um, another important uh, task that I would like to confront uh, in the near future is trying to extract more granular data for contagion. Uh, maybe not at uh, you know, country level, because if you want to study the effects of climate, uh, you have, for example, the US is big, right? So if you're in Alaska or if you're in Texas, it's kind of different. Um, and there's, well, for the US, I think we have a place to get the data, but for many other places, still no clue. And we'll start working on that, I think, today, hopefully. Because probably disparity around what the needs are and where the bottlenecks are in terms of support people, maybe we can also have each of the coordinators, and do, let's do this in Slack, but once we know kind of who those coordinators are, they can identify which are your biggest sort of human resources needs so that we can make sure that people are getting allocated in, in an even way across the time. Yes, that would be great. Uh, next That's all from my part. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Daniel. Hi. Hey, my you, Yeah, how are you? Good. Yeah, do you want to tell us what's going on with, uh, with VT? Uh, we are doing fine. We are moving forward. Not uh, VT, but have... risk factor. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. risk factor. Yeah. And now we have um, an amazing list with keywords that uh, were partially uh, made manually and partially like um, enriched automatically. Uh, we have quite a few pieces of code. Uh, we almost have uh, the database that is search searchable uh, for the different purposes. Um, and basically, uh, tomorrow it seems like tonight or tomorrow morning my time, uh, we will have uh, more uh, more tasks submitted, and uh, basically it looks uh, it looks okay. We are moving forward. We have some progress every day. That's fantastic. Are there any blockers for your team? Uh, at the moment, I don't think so. But if there are, I will obviously let you know. Fantastic. Do we have anyone from uh, from either of the other two teams who can who can speak? I think Alex from uh, Vaccine Task is here on the call. Not sure if he can talk. We had a productive call yesterday uh, that kind of generated a lot of stuff. Alex? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um, if you yes, can give us a quick summary and blockers, that would be great. Yeah, yes. Uh, yesterday we defined uh, several projects for long term work and a list of compact tasks that can be done, I think, in a couple of days. Uh, today, we focused on analyzing results of uh, uh, named entity recognition provided by Brendan. Brendan, thank you. Uh, no problem. 
<laughs> and uh, other task for today, I think uh, uh, classification task, experimental theoretical paper classification. Uh, we extremely need help with collecting, analyzing, validation ideas, papers, existing solutions related to projects because they heavy, big, uh, complicated. So domain experts, researchers uh, are very welcome. Great, thanks so much. And uh, Thais, I don't know if, uh, if Arthur, if there's someone else who wants to speak to the, to the Thais group. Um, I'm not sure who's the, the team leader there. There was Christine, right? Right, Christine is. Call. Yeah, maybe we we can follow up with her and, and see what's the progress. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. So it seems like we're getting some progress. Some tasks don't even have blockers, which is great. Um, let's let's see what's next. The next thing: preparing output for the Kaggle summary page on the progress so far. So we've talked with Anthony, uh, CEO of Kaggle and basically uh, got uh, a very specific request from him um, on how to position our work for being included in summary page. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and create some basic uh, structure and um, taxonomy for that. I think those will be four separate notebooks that will have a very different structure and purpose than the main notebook that we have. And basically will serve at a, as a place for Anthony to open and see if there is something uh, you know uh, useful to copy and just paste into the summary page. Okay, if anyone has any ideas how to push that faster, that would be great. Uh, do, you, do you mind if I add one thought here? Go ahead. Uh, to get some feedback from the group. So I, I think what we've kind of uh, defined is an approach. And I think your uh, language of saying this is a product is uh, right on. That's exactly how I started thinking about it. Um, and now what we're doing is we're gonna establish an approach and then apply that to various tasks. So we've identified four tasks that we're working on. Um, the I'm trying to document what that process is, understanding that A, it's, we're, it's still in development, so it's not finalized by any stretch. And B, it may be specific or unique to each one of those tasks. So there may be components that are unique to one task uh, that are not as relevant to another. So we have to bear that in mind. Uh, but I do think that um, we, we could take the approach of saying, what we really came up with was this approach, product, whatever you want to call it, and we applied it to some tasks. The notebooks you're talking about could be um, specific to the tasks. Um, and then we've also got documentation or notebooks or however we want to memorialize it, um, our approach. Um, and I've started some documentation on that and posted it. If we all agree that that makes sense, then you know, let's work together on uh, completing that documentation, being able to articulate what our approach is. Uh, and then we'll also be asking the task teams to uh, explain, document how they applied that to their particular tasks. Yeah, and I, I actually want to say that we, you know, we very much appreciate your type of work. It's very unique and very different to the styles of you know, management and organization that we're having and navigating right now, which is primarily you know, just massaging people here, massaging people there, uh, creating some action over here with your approach and having more solid structure and organizational chart, it's, it's amazing to have that, you know, being uh, pulled together. I think, uh, you know, we are still uh, catching up to um, that concept as a whole. I think uh, as we proceed during this, uh, you know, upcoming week, we'll be able to further integrate that organizational chart and you know, prepare better for onboarding new people that have no clue what this is. Uh, I think a crucial piece that I've tried to push yesterday was the uh, visual guide uh, based on personas, meaning like if you're a non-technical person, you see this visual graph that shows non-technical person. If you're a marketing person like uh, 
uh, Flavia, you go here, you talk to Mark or like something very simple that gets the job done in less than 10 seconds for every single individual persona. And obviously it's going to be more complex and things like, you know, machine learning pieces. And maybe it's not as easy as your machine learning guy. You go and talk to Brandon because there's just so much stuff going on in there, but we can at least start drafting that visual graph and see if it, it will cover, you know, 80% of typical personas that, that will join us across the next couple of days. And as, as of this afternoon, we're just going to hopefully have a couple of people coming on board who what they specialize in is educational graphs and sort of simplifying some stuff like that. And so if we can get the basic structure and even something on a napkin for right now, um, then, then we'll be able to, to generate more of that stuff ongoing. Um, Stephen, I'd, I'd love to maybe at some point we'll, we'll maybe hop on a call. Um, we have some facilitators who we might be able to, to also tap who are coming from sociocracy, which is, again, looking at how do you deal with a complex organization like this that has both that top down and bottom up side. I mean, you have the best bird's eye view of what we're doing structurally. Sure. Nice. We just got published in informationweek.com. I'm going to be sharing that too. Nice. Uh, I've been asked by my firm to give a presentation about what we've done uh, on uh, the third, which I guess is Tuesday or something. No, next Thursday. So in a, in a week, I'll be presenting on Corona Y. So if you guys want to send me marketing materials, I'll, I'll talk about it in the Slack. It's fine. That's awesome. And also what you're doing right there, that's something that I really encourage everyone. So if you're doing any presentations, if you're doing, if you're blogging, if you're doing videos, if you're doing anything that's sort of that outreach piece, um, make sure that you throw that, whether it's into marketing, into general, somewhere or other so that we all know about it uh, so that we can boost signal for you as well and, and get examples of what that might look like. Um, I'd, I'd love to talk to anyone. If anyone is interested in looking at doing stuff, local press, it's really easy for your, your location to be like, you know, you're the person who has just joined this massive international organization that's doing this stuff. And we can talk about how we can make it easy to reach out to some of that local press as well to, to again, increase our signal. All right. Sounds good. And the last thing that we have here is discuss medical expert integration process. I think uh, we can just briefly I uh, have a, a summary from Steven on the progress so far and, you know, what's happening there and who should be encouraged to join the next call. Um, sure. So the next call is to define, uh, help define how we want to get input from subject matter experts. I think it's a critical component to our product. <laughs> um, and uh, particularly with a group like this, where we've got uh, a lot of contributors around the globe, we want to uh, be able to get their input um, into the process. The human evaluation uh, of the output is critical, both in defining the tasks as well as evaluating the output. Um, and I think uh, that this is an aspect that we want to build on. At this stage, it, it feels that to me as if um, we have more machine learning experts than we do um, epidemiologists. Uh, on the team, so we need to be sensitive to their time, and they're probably being pulled in a lot of directions because there's a lot of research going on, and they're probably being asked a lot. So we need to uh, define some tasks for them that are, are help us, uh, but aren't too burdensome to them, and lay a foundation for uh, being able to improve this um, over time. It seems of the four task teams, the risk team is the most advanced in terms of having uh, done that at least on the uh, the definition of what the task should be. Uh, so a few of us met yesterday and we came up with kind of groups of questions that we think subject matter experts should offer opinions on. We've decided to kind of prioritize the areas where we want them to work on it now. And we're likely to use the risk uh, task as a template and apply it to the other tasks. And so we're going to go through that in the next in the meeting that starts in five minutes. Um, and uh, get input on the, the process uh, and then figure out if, if the basic structure works, then figure out the next steps. Um, I'll leave it there since we're, we're running out of time. Sounds great. Um, all right, I think we're good with everything. I think we can stay for a couple more minutes uh, and let Steven uh, proceed with the medical expert call. And just for us, uh, you know, Daniel, Mark, uh, Brandon, maybe to answer a couple of the questions that any of the people that ju just joined us have. 
Uh, I just wanted to make two comments. So um, we are finally uploading all of the data set files to Kaggle. All of them are going to be available uh, there on it's kaggle.com slash skylord slash uh, Y um, because there's no file size limitation. So if you're looking for data, go there. Um, and also go to the github.com slash corona y. That's where um, we're going to be uh, pushing code updates. So my, my pipeline is there. Uh, we're going to be putting code up there so that everybody knows where it is and can access it. So, And uh, send those links to me, and um, I'll make sure that there's always only one link you need to check to get all of these resources. Perfect. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Oh, hi, Archer. My name is Shannon. I just uh, joined yesterday. Um, I noticed some things have changed with the Slack channel organization, and I was just looking for the Slack channels that used to exist for the different tasks, like the vaccine task, and I'm not finding them anymore. I'm wondering what happened. Wait, what? Great. Hi, Shannon. Thanks for that. And uh, that's, that's a problem we're all facing. Um, uh, if, if you go under channels, um, you should find your favorite channels under pseudonyms. Um, and we're going to be doing more purging like this just so that that problem doesn't continue. Um, we're going to go down to a very small set of channels and then we'll scale back up as needed. But I think uh, maybe the issue is that people are just not aware you can search for channels. That's true. I was not aware of that. I Hopefully I would have eventually figured that out. But okay. um, So for people that are not aware of how Slack works, and that's okay, like many of us are first timers to this, uh, you should go into this channels, browse channels, and type in task and click enter, and you'll be able to see all the channels that are specifically designed for tasks. There are four right now. Great. Thank you for the clarification. And just time check, it is 10.01, and so I know that the subject matter expert uh, meeting needs to, to get starting up right now. Amazing seeing, seeing how everybody is, is, is leaping in, and anyone who's feeling like they need any kind of help uh, orienting, or if you're noticing what's making it hard for you, then just dump that into one of the channels and we'll, we'll figure it out. All right, amazing guys. Stay healthy, stay safe. Thank you, bye. Good. bye. Thank you, bye. Thanks, bye. bye.